Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another EFC highlight commentary. Now to the untrained eye, martial artists and even their fans seem like brutes and barbarians. And to a huge extent, we totally are. However, we have our own rules of honor, our own codes of conduct. We are not savages. And one such rule is, unless there is massive beef between the two opponents, you should always take the handshake. Always. Round 1 This man has absolutely no concept of social distancing. He went so far into man's face, it feels like sexual assault. How you gonna skip the handshake and go straight for the kiss? I'm not sure if he wants to intimidate him or inseminate him. Disgusting! Fight! Either way, he was getting exactly what he was asking for once the fight actually started. That sweet white nectar. Oh lord have mercy. Yeah, we're not even trying to defend himself here. A part of me knows that I have to blur this, but the other part of me knows that if I do, it will actually feel worse. Nyembo made his opponent so uncomfortable, Georgiev turned into J. Cole on his G.O.M.D. Get off my dick! This entire encounter gave that sponsorship a whole new meaning. After such a round, of course they are wiping his face! At that sweet white nectar. DISGUSTING! Getting to round 2, I now see that he didn't take that handshake not because he didn't like his opponent, but probably because he liked him a bit too much. I like you. And I want you. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Cause in round two, this man goes for round two. Doing a fusion dance between his face and this man's nether regions. This has to be Georgiev's most unnerving match because he cannot get his gonads to himself. Only way he was getting out of this is giving the man what he needs. You know, needs. Needs, it's a, it's a pun on me. Oh man, it's some old bullshit. Yet somehow, this man actually survives for yet another round. Wait, what's this? I. Okay. I, I guess there's no other round. This is a prime example of too much of something is poison. Man's buried his face in so much nuts that he actually developed a nut allergy. Do you see where I'm coming from, you jive motherfucker? I don't want my old house, I want dick. Round two. Next up we have this young up and comer who spits at the very concept of common courtesy and refuses to take the handshake. Yeah, we know where this is going. Fight! I got you to Get over here! Ah oh, shit! Can I just say real quick, I did not know that you can reach a human being's back through this route. Now, once the spay put Kamish on the ground, he was never going to let him go. Yep, that's right. I'm running things! From here on out, he would slowly and steadily school his opponent on the ancient arts of the Kama Sutra. Oh yeah! This man must have taken that rejected handshake so personally that he decided that this entire fixture would be him having full body contact with his opponent. <laughs> yeah, boy. I want to have a stream. And after about two and a half minutes of raw dogging, Kamish couldn't take the foreplay anymore. I quit! I quit! I actually think that's quite the happy ending. The rejected handshake actually ended in a lot of love, as opposed to if he had maybe just refused the handshake and created a hate out of it. Round 3 Okay, now this was just downright disrespectful. This motherfucker. When you bypass the handshake and go for the low blow, it turns from about to a fight. Fight! And that's exactly what you got for the rest of the round, just a pure unadulterated fight. And you could tell this man was offended by that rejected handshake by the way he was swinging. You think I'm playing? Man's literally almost dislocated his arm trying to take off his opponent's head. Revenge is... Oops. But that didn't stop this man from doing his civic duty and teaching his opponent proper ring manners. Left Hook created the perfect opening for this man to deliver his corporal punishment. Oh, you's a corn-fed fool with a lot of muscle mass. But it's time for Bullhorn to get up in that ass! Oh no! Ah! Man, help me! Oh my god! I'll be honest, if you replace those face with a belt or a slipper, every African kid knows this routine. It's the same one we've been through when our mama was whipping some sense into us. Finish him! So remember, next time you're in the ring or anywhere else, when somebody offers a handshake, take it. As a wise, probably drunk Kenyan local once said, Salamu ipeni mimba. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs>